If I were to give you two loans A and B both having the same probability of default, then to calculate the joint probability of default, a simple starting point is to assume that defaults are independent. Under this assumption, the joint probability of default simply turns out to be equal to the product of the respective probability of default and in this case it turns out to be 0.25%. This tells me that this event of both my loans jointly defaulting in the same year is an event which happens approximately once in 400 years. Now in practice, defaults are not independent, they are correlated. This is because the obligors for my two loans, they might come from the same economy, they might be subjected to the same interest rates, they might even come from the same industry. Hence, it becomes important to accommodate for and account for the default correlation between my two obligors. Mathematically, default correlation is defined to be equal to the excess of the joint probability of default over the joint probability calculated using the independence assumption, the whole thing divided by the product of the standard deviations of the respective default variable for each loan. This formula can be rearranged to arrive at the formula for the joint probability after taking into account the default correlation. Now in this situation, if I were to assume my default correlation to be 30%, then you can check this that the joint probability of default for my two loans comes out to be 1.68%. This tells me that the under the assumption of correlated defaults, this event of both my loans defaulting in the same year happens approximately once in 60 years. So why is all this important? Well, it's important because if you were to purely go by the values of probability of default, because these values tend to be rather small, my loan portfolio appears to be quite safe. But in the presence of correlated defaults, if a downturn were to strike, defaults, they appear or arrive in clusters or waves. And under this kind of a situation, even a seemingly low risk product such as for example the senior tranche of a CDO also suddenly starts to take losses. And this is why default correlation is important.